Hey there! Welcome back to the Noctis on YouTube. With the rapid growth in global trade, trade routes span continents, connecting the east to the west and the north to the south. Commodities from every corner of the world move ceaselessly, from East Asia to Western Europe, from the Middle East to America. In response to this growing demand, the shipping industry has innovated. Ships are now designed on a massive scale, capable of carrying millions of tons of cargo and equipped with technology that enables simpler operations. With dimensions equivalent to three football fields, container ships have become sea giants, transporting over 100 million containers each year. However, these advancements are not without their challenges. Every voyage carries risks, Ships can experience incidents like fires, collisions, or even sinking. Nevertheless, thanks to safety standards and advanced technology, major incidents are rare. Out of the countless containers that sail each year, an average of fewer than 1,500 are lost due to incidents. Let's take a look at some container ship incidents that have captured the world's attention. The Singapore-flagged ship Express Pearl, measuring 186 meters in length, which experienced this accident was a relatively new vessel, having been completed in February 2021. This ship was classified by both DNV, Norway, and ABS, America. It was a fully cellular container ship, capable of carrying 1,500 containers, including 81 containers classified as hazardous materials, B3 cargo. There are suspicions that a leak of 25 tons of nitric acid since May 11, 2021, may have been the cause of the incident. The fire itself was known to have started on May 20, 2021. By the time the fire had grown, it was already too late to take action. Firefighting efforts were akin to waiting for the ashes to settle. The Express Pearl burned for 13 days before finally sitting on the seabed at a depth of approximately 21 meters after being continuously sprayed with seawater. Rob Hawes, the head of marine at Crawford and Amp Company, estimated that the cargo losses from the Express Pearl could range from $30 million to $50 million in addition to the loss of the ship itself. The Container Ship One Apis experienced an accident on November 30th, 2020 in the North Pacific. The ship lost up to 50 containers about 1,600 nautical miles northwest of Hawaii. In rough weather, strong winds and large waves caused the ship to list, and containers fell into the sea. The ship, with a capacity of 14,000 TEU, sailed under the Japanese flag and operated on the Far East Pacific 2 FP2 Ocean Network Express Service. On the night of November 30th, 2020, the container ship 1 APUs faced a harrowing situation. It encountered severe weather with strong winds and large waves. As a result, the ship listed heavily, causing more than 1,800 containers to be released and fall into the sea. An emergency situation was reported to JRCC in Honolulu and Guam, and maritime navigation warnings were issued. The container ship 1AP US was built in 2019 and had a length of 364 meters. It sailed under the Japanese flag and served the Far East Pacific 2 FP2 Ocean Network Express Service. An estimated 1,900 containers were lost or damaged, including about 40 containers believed to contain hazardous goods, DG Cargo. The ship's owner and manager then coordinated to find a safe port for the ship to assess the damage and determine the exact number of containers affected. On January 18, 2007, the giant container ship MSC Napoli, weighing 62,000 tons, faced a fierce storm in the English Channel during its journey from Belgium. 
What happened next was a series of dramatic events that put the coastal village of Branscombe on the map and triggered an international rescue operation lasting two and a half years. Napoli, en route from Antwerp to Durban, South Africa, suffered severe damage to its hull during the storm. All 26 crew members were evacuated by helicopter for their safety in a rescue operation, coordinated by British Coast Guards. The ship remained afloat, but tilted severely, carrying a load of 2,300 containers and 3,800 tons of oil. The ship lost 114 containers, with 80 of them stranded on the beach. These containers contained items like explosives, fertilizers, herbicides, car parts, chocolate, Polish Bibles, vodka, shampoo, wine, coffee, perfume, dog biscuits, and frozen ducks. The total cost of this incident exceeded 120 million pounds. The MSC Flaminia ship accident is one of the worst container ship accidents ever to occur in the Atlantic Ocean. This German flag ship experienced an explosion and a massive fire in its cargo hold while traveling from the United States, South Carolina to Belgium, Wilson. Antwerp, Ready in July 2012. Ready, sir. The incident resulted in the deaths of four people, including one missing and never found and forced the entire crew to abandon the ship in the middle of the ocean. According to maritime authorities, the main cause of the MSC Flaminia accident was a discrepancy between the cargo documents and the actual cargo on board. This violated safety regulations that required ships to label and store flammable and hazardous cargo in a safe and separate location from other cargo. The initial explosion was believed to have originated from one of the containers containing chemicals that reacted with seawater. This explosion then triggered subsequent explosions and fires in other containers. After receiving an emergency call from the MSC Flaminia, British Coast Guards in Falmouth immediately dispatched assistance. The DS Crown ship, located near the incident site, arrived first and successfully evacuated most of the Flaminia crew. However, the rescue operation was hampered by distance and adverse weather conditions. One crew member was declared missing and was never found despite continued search efforts. Another crew member died from injuries sustained after being evacuated. To extinguish the fire, the salvage company Semoit, appointed by the ship's operator and owner, used tugboats and firefighting equipment to approach the burning Flaminia and spray seawater into the cargo hold. This firefighting process took several weeks before the fire was fully extinguished. Semit Salvage Company stated that there were no significant environmental impacts from the MSC Flaminia accident because there was no oil or hazardous chemicals spilled into the sea. However, many European countries refused to allow the Flaminia to be towed into their waters due to concerns about air and water pollution from smoke and ash. Ultimately, after lengthy negotiations, the Flaminia was allowed to dock in Wilhelmshaven, Germany in September 2012. The MSC Flaminia ship accident also led to legal disputes between the operator, owner, charterer, shipper, receiver, and insurance companies regarding liability and compensation for the losses incurred. On March 21, 2006, during its journey from Asia to Europe, the Panamanian container ship Hyundai Fortune experienced a massive explosion approximately 100 kilometers south of Yemen in the direction of the Gulf of Aden. Between 60 and 90 containers were lost at sea, and about 1,000 out of 3,000 containers were damaged due to the fire. The initial explosion caused a large fire that spread throughout the rear of the ship. A secondary explosion occurred when seven containers containing fireworks also caught fire. A 12-meter crack was visible on the ship's hull, and the crew was evacuated. Despite firefighting efforts, the fire continued to burn the Hyundai Fortune for several days. 
The ship's management company, Hyundai Merchant Marine, hired a tugboat to tow the container ship to Salala, Oman, where salvageable cargo, approximately 2,249 containers, was unloaded for transport to Europe. The cause of the accident may have been high external temperatures, or a fire that ignited a violent reaction with certain cargo substances, such as calcium hypochlorite or fireworks. All 27 crew members successfully evacuated the ship and were later picked up by a Dutch Navy destroyer that was nearby. Only one crew member sustained non-life-threatening injuries in the accident. The ship was eventually towed to Salala, Oman. On October 5, 2011, a 224 meter long container ship, Rena struck the Astrolabe Reef in the Bay of Plenty, New Zealand, at a speed of approximately 17 knots while en route to Taranga. As a result, the ship ran aground and remained stuck there for months. Its cargo was damaged and spilled, contaminating the sea with chemicals and fuel, impacting the marine environment severely. The Astrolabe Reef is known for its strong waves, and Reyna remained stranded there for several months. Eventually, Reyna broke in two in January 2012. To address the situation, the only option was to dismantle the wreck on the reef. As a result of the incident, approximately 200 tons of heavy oil were lost and contaminated the sea, and a large number of cargo containers were lost. New Zealand's Prime Minister declared the shipwreck as the worst maritime disaster in the country's history. While most of the Rena's wreckage has been successfully removed during a complex salvage operation, some of it couldn't be lifted and still lies on the reef. In 2016, a judge ruled that the ship's owner could leave the remaining wreckage in place. Following the incident, an investigation determined that the Rena's second officer had deviated from the intended course toward Taranga to meet a pilot boat's deadline. This resulted in a course change that directed the ship directly onto the reef, which was already marked on navigational charts, but the error was not noticed until it was too late. The master and second officer were arrested and sentenced to seven months in prison for their roles in the disaster. On Sunday, September 8, 2018, a cargo ship capsized and caught fire near a port on the Georgia coast, U.S. Four crew members were reported missing in this accident. A search and rescue operation was immediately initiated to save the crew members. The crew of the Golden Ray, which was 656 feet tall, reported to authorities that the ship was listing on Sunday, September 8, around 2 a.m. By evening, the ship was listing in St. Simon's Sound, as authorities worked to stabilize it so they could continue the rescue operation, which was halted due to the fire on the ship. Coast Guard and other agency personnel responded and rescued 20 out of 24 people on board, including 23 crew members and one pilot, before the fire forced the operation to stop. The rescued crew members had to escape through different parts of the ship, some were lifted into helicopters, while others were lowered into various locations using fire hoses into boats. They were rescued around 4 o'clock and 5 a.m. During the incident, the Golden Ray carried approximately 4,100 vehicles, and the total loss was estimated at $62 million. According to NTSB reports, the lost cargo was estimated to be around $142 million in value. The ship sailed under the flag of the Marshall Islands and was bound for Baltimore. There were no signs of pollution caused by the ship, according to local officials. After the crew members were rescued and the ship was stabilized, salvage crews worked to find the best way to move the ship without causing environmental incidents. A woman working at the port mentioned that the loading and unloading process went smoothly, with nothing appearing out of the ordinary. They completed their work around 11 p.m. on Saturday. The likely cause of the ship capsizing was attributed to the chief officer's mistake in inputting the ballast quantity into the stability calculation program. This resulted in the ship having lower stability than calculated by the chief officer.
The Hanjin Pennsylvania ship had been in service for less than a year when it experienced an explosion in its cargo hold on November 11, 2002, off the coast of Sri Lanka during its journey from Singapore to Germany. Four days after the initial explosion, a second explosion rocked the 282-meter-long ship. The source of the explosions was traced back to one or more containers filled with fireworks that were either misdeclared or not properly documented in the ship's manifest. Tragically, two crew members lost their lives in the accident. The ship, on the other hand, remained afloat, but was ultimately declared a total loss and sold for salvage. It never made it to the breaker's yard, and was instead rebuilt and returned to service as the Norasia Bellatrix. The ship suffered a total loss, and so did all of its cargo.